Don't make me take my shoes off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the open stage. I was going to get really heavy and deep, but what the hell's the point? You guys are in a great mood. I don't want to screw that up. I, I, I did want to throw down a quick story, though, because I noticed tonight we, we, we've thrown out some words. The new people, let me hear a shout from you. There are a few of you. I, I know you've already heard a few terms like roustabout and first timer and all these things. You gotta understand, circuses aren't like real reality, and the open stage is even less so. We, we had to come up with words for things because certain things we do, we either we they don't have a word for them, or frankly, we can't say what they you know what they are. They feel like, which which leads to an interesting story. Quick point of personal disclosure: I'm wearing brown tonight because brown is all I have seen all weekend. I moved. Oh, stop! I moved over the weekend. I moved. You get cart cardboard boxes full of all my props and costumes. I am too. Well, but the good news is that Circus Freaks headquarters has successfully been relocated and is in the process of coming back online. So that's the first thing. And I made it back here, which is pretty cool. But I found something. Uh, oh, it is not a lovely purse. Like all alcoholics, it is a wine or alcohol carrier. Thank you, audience. But that's not what I found. That's just what I put it in. And I had to share a story about something of our community's history. And I thought this was a great opportunity since you were all here and you'd hear it. So I am a clown. And I am not allowed to say certain words that we will be saying all night in front of children. <laughs> Monkey, please demo one of those. That's an excellent example. For those of you who missed it at YouTube, he said, oh, thank you. The bleeps on that are going to be great. Okay, so one of the things you can't scream is, any <laughs> very good, is anything if you've injured yourself. Yes, I did. So first the story. A long time ago, there was a poi spinner in our community name of Mediocre Matt. You've seen Poi demonstrated all evening. You'll definitely see some more. We called him Mediocre because he was so good we needed to humble him. <laughs> he was that good. So Mediocre Matt one day was standing outside the Bathhouse Cultural Center spinning gigantic, beautiful ribbon Poi. And it was gorgeous. And I walked up knowing nothing very early in my circus career and said, give me those. I know everything. He said, uh, and then handed them over. He thought this might be a teaching moment. He was right. And so, and so it went down like this. I, sp I spun that cool three-beat weave moment where you spin and they tie in a knot in front of you and nobody dies. <laughs> Except I missed that last part. Um, the first one went here. The second one went here. Now, there's some things you should know. Each one of these had a pound of dried chickpeas in them. There's another thing you should know. I was lifted up off the ground by this experience. There are a couple things that came out of this. Number one, I did cry. Number two, I did not pee blood. And number three, it has been checked. Everything is still working. You're welcome. That's more important to me than you, but you get the idea. That's not the payoff for the story. That's the background of the story. The term chickpea was coined for an injury so virile that you had to scream about it because we were in front of children and you can't scream, ow, my balls, I want to die. <laughs> and so instead we started screaming, chickpea! <laughs> the payoff comes from one Mr. Philip Rodriguez, AKA the Fez. The Fez shows up at a white elephant Christmas and presents me with this. Zoom on in, zoom on in so you get this. This is a can of chickpeas that has been signed by all of the original members of Creative Motion and the Circus Freaks who had at some point injured themselves in the chickpeas. <laughs> it is a piece of our great history and a reminder that there are certain things you should not scream in front of children. <laughs> One of them is welcome to the open stage. <laughs> 
I will have this during the playground on my table and back. If you happen to be a poi spinner or skill arts performer of any type that is a member of our community, obviously you are here, and you have injured yourself in the, um, shall we say, appropriate, unfortunately way, come by, sign the can, and become a part of our history, all right? <laughs> well, not hearts, but you get the idea. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. The peaches. The peaches. We, we, for, for the ladies, there was a can of peaches that later showed up. We'll try to track that down and allow you an opportunity to um, become a part of history. <laughs> ah, yeah, it took a minute. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> All right. I see the hecklers are here. Bravo. No, I'm going to let them have it. It was kind of funny. So... You know, it's quite cool in here with your shoes off. I just wanted to throw that out there. No, you're not. By the end of the night, the new people are like, whoa. All right. So first and foremost, I want to get the show on the road. 